Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, the IRT Encoder. This is not a video tutorial, but this in this video, I will be explaining to you the question, the test cases, and will be giving you some hints at the last or in the mid of the video. So please do watch the whole video. So chef loves to play with iron and magnets. He took a row of n cells and placed some objects in some of these cells. We are given a string s with length n, describing them. And for each valid i, the ith character of s is one of the following. So it represents a piece of iron, magnet, empty, conducting sheet, or a block. So the question is, uh, how many magnets can you choose such that they can attract an iron? And a magnet can attract an iron only if its attraction power pij equal to k plus 1 which is a constant minus mod j minus i j minus i is the difference between their indexes minus s of ij so sij is the number of shells containing sheets between cells i and j so this and this sorry this power attraction power should be greater than or this attraction power should be greater than 0 not greater than equal to sorry for that so chef wants to choose some magnets possibly none and to each of these magnets he should assign a piece of iron with which the magnet should attract so you are given in the first line the number of test cases then you are given two space separated integers n and k the second line contains a single integer s with length n so for each test case print a single line containing one integer the maximum number of magnets that can attract iron as you can see the sum of n over all test cases does not exceed 5 dot 10 raised to power 6. So you got the time complexity of your solution here. I won't disclose this as it's obvious. The next thing is explanation of the test cases. Okay. So here there is only 1i and 1m and the attraction power between them is 5 which is k plus 1 minus i minus j is 3 minus 0 which is 3 and sij is 2. So it decreases with distance. Yeah. So the answer is 1 and for this case uh, similarly attraction power is 10 here, 10 here and 8 here. So you have got two pairs of iron and magnet where this question obeys the constraints. Okay. So the hint for this question is try to think of with which iron should I pair a particular magnet if I have various options so I guess this was a decent enough hint it didn't give away the question but it made you ponder on which way you need to think so I hope you understood this question and the test cases and please do like share and subscribe and if you have any doubts or any requests please do leave them in the comment section Please don't discuss this question in the comment section and stay tuned for the editorials. I will upload them as soon as the contest ends. Thank you.